Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Femke and today's video is a little bit different than what you are used to seeing from me. This is the new fall winter collection update by Essence Cosmetics. I was sent out this package by one of my PR companies, so thank you so so much for sending this out to me. It is mostly makeup but a little bit of nail polish as well. I'm just going to talk you through while I'm swatching and kind of like first impressioning all of the items that were sent out to me and just talk about all of the additions and there are also products that have already left since this is already out in stores I think it is since the start of September already in stores um, some items will be uh, available in all stores some are easier to get online um, some have like the really big like essence shelves and some stores have the smaller ones so it really depends on the store what items you will get but first up i'm just going to get everything out of the little plastic packaging and then just start the swatching i have to say it's been like over a year already since i made a video like this i usually get like the updates by essence and catrice for some reason i didn't get the catrice one this year um but a lot of you also know that before i was a youtuber i actually was a beauty blogger so i still have my own blog i still um, share my videos on there but since I'm not really focusing on makeup that much anymore I don't really share much makeup but I do have a huge makeup stash and I still love it so so much just to play around with it make some cool looks um, so yeah I've actually been a beauty blogger since 2010 so it's like nine years already so that's really cool um, so yeah that's just a little bit of a background story about where I'm coming from and why I'm sharing this. But let's just start off with this first palette. This is the Epic Sunset palette. It costs $9.99 and it has so many cool shades. They are gorgeous. Like I really love the packaging. I love the entire like shape and style and just the colors of the eyeshadows look really, really neat. There are some pinks in there, some golds, some neutral shades as well. And that blue, like, oh, that blue is so gorgeous but I'm just going to swatch it all as I said it's been a hot minute and it was actually really fun for me to do some makeup swatches again because it had been such a long time and yeah I'm just really really excited for this package um, and I think there really are some cool gems in in this new uh, fall winter update as well so here you just see me swatch all of the colors these are all just on clean skin no primer or base or anything like that and just one swipe of the finger so yeah um, here you can actually see me swatching that blue it is so gorgeous it's like a black undertone with a ton of blue metallic pigments in there I think it is a gorgeous color and I really do like the fact that they actually named the colors as well that is something that essence didn't always do um, I've been a big essence cosmetics fan ever since the brand came out I think it's like 16 years ago already yes people I am that old <laughs> I was actually how old was I when it came out I really have to like do my math right now I think I was like 13 or something so really the perfect age to actually try out and start playing with makeup um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited and I really have to say I do really love all of the metallic shimmery shades in this palette, but those mattes, just look at that. That creamy color is like perfect for a brow highlight if you're not into the shimmery highlights on the eyes. I think that's a beautiful shade and that dark brown is just really, really pigmented. So yeah, that were all of the colors from the Epic Sunset palette. As I said, I really love this palette. I think I'm going to bring this one or even the smaller one with me on my four week trip to Asia um, because there are so many colors in there. It's really versatile. 
um, and there's a big mirror in there as well and uh, it doesn't weigh a lot and it's just really really easy to just take with you throw it in your bag whenever you're going to travel so here you can see me remove all of these swatches with a makeup wipe as you can see some colors I really had to scrub my skin so that is actually a good thing you know that it is really pigmented and you can really work with them then the next two palettes are from the Crystal Power collection. It's like a sub collection in their regular main collection. So there is an eyeshadow palette and there is, um, let me think, a blush and highlight palette as well. But I am so in love with this eyeshadow palette. Like that green is amazing on the right uh, corner, like the upper corner. And here you can see the four colors from the blush and highlight palette. Both palettes are only $5.99. Like, can you imagine? There aren't, I, I really don't know any brands that have such a good, like, price setting and actually do deliver great quality. I have to say Essence really stepped up their game um, as well as Catrice by the way. Um, because since I have been there with those brands from the start, I actually know like their consistencies, their qualities from like way back and just really comparing that to the um, pigments and just the quality and how professional it actually became, they have made huge, huge steps. So big kudos and shout out to actually the makers of these products. They're really, really cute. They look kind of um, for a younger audience, but me as a grown woman of almost 29. I still really, really love this. I also really love the way these packages are made. So the blush and highlighter palette, I have to say some colors are a little bit too dark for me, um, but I think these would look really cool as eyeshadows as well. So for only $5.99, like why wouldn't you just get this one? Um, it's really neat, especially if it are your colors, just go out and get it. Then these swatches of the eyeshadow palette, just wait for it, that green, oh that green, it's so gorgeous. It's a medium grassy green shade with like golden sparkles or shimmer in it, it is so gorgeous. Usually I'm not a big green fan, a lot of you who've been hanging out with me, uh, with me for the last two years know that I'm not big on green in nail polishes or makeup, but this green is just gorgeous, I love it. And here you can see me swatching the next three shades, that rose gold color is really really gorgeous too and again these colors are all um have all been named so that's really nice especially if you do like um looks yourself you share them on instagram or maybe make videos with these on youtube it's really easy to just to explain and say oh i used the shade in this and this name so i really really like that not all products by essence at least the palettes have names for their singular eyeshadow color so yeah that's a big big plus in my opinion so these are all the nine shades from this Crystal Power eyeshadow palette. A lot of shimmer, a lot of metallic. That is something you really either love or hate. I pretty much love it, but it's always nice that there is at least one to two matte shades in here. So yeah, I really, really love this collection. I think it's really new, really refreshing, and the colors are really pretty too. Then there is a contouring duo palette and I got 10 lighter skin, which is pretty good because I am really, really pale, especially now it's getting fall again or into fall and especially in winter, I'm like really, really pale. Um, I do have to say that the lighter shade, I'm not quite sure if that will actually work for me since it is almost like exactly my pale skin tone but that um, bronzer color or the contour color is definitely one i'm going to use it is super matte um, both colors are extremely matte so that is really really nice uh, nice <laughs> it actually um, blends pretty nicely as well i haven't tried this out with a brush yet but i'm definitely going to use it and this one is 359 
at least in the Dutch stores. So there are also some new blushes and highlighters. Um, I got one of each. I got Befitting in the blush and Heroic in the highlighter. These are definitely colors I would pick out myself. The blush is kind of like a brownish peach color and the highlighter is just a nice like golden shimmery kind of highlighter. Really really basic but um, for the price I would definitely just try them out or pick another color because there are like a ton of new shades for each of these ranges. Um, the blush and the highlighter are both only 259 so that's below 3 euros. Like are you kidding me that is so affordable and there actually is a ton of product in there so it's not like you only get like one gram or something um there is a ton in there and because they are quite pigmented you only need a little bit so that is really really neat as well i have to say that the blush is in my opinion so far like completely matte i really like that as well but i have to say i really like my slightly shimmery blushes as well so you might like if you like a little bit more shimmer like i do just combine it with the highlighter and you're good to go the next one is a primer this is the hydrating and perfecting primer it actually has spf 20 and it smells so so nice you have to shake it up before use but there's like a little like dropper thingy which you can use to apply it straightly to your face or even to a brush or your fingers you could apply primer on so many different ways it's totally up to you how you want to apply it I just applied it straight from the dropper onto my hand just to try it out, see how it feels because I have really acne prone skin, like I'm almost 29, I'm like turning 29 in just a couple of weeks and my skin still breaks out like crazy if I use really heavy, like thick, fatty kind of primers and this one actually feels really really light so I'm not really scared to use this on my face and it's really neat because it has an SPF twin, uh, 20. I always wanted to say 20, like 20 in Dutch. <laughs> but this primer was 389. And next up is the mascara. This one is 359. So a little bit more expensive, but it really seems to me like a nice one. I actually really, really love the mascaras by Essence and Catrice. Those are the only ones I use. And this is the What the Fake <laughs> Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara. Um, personally, I really love the rubbery kind of brushes. This one is like more of those hairy bristled kind of brushes. It kind of like runs up to the center and then goes down again, kind of like uh, a rhombus kind of shape. Um, I haven't used this one on my lashes yet, but I'm definitely going to use it in daily life. And I even give you an update through Instagram or something like that. Then I also got two lipsticks and let me just check how much these were. They were $2.99 each. So this is a really, really lovely shade. I really love the classic um, shape of it as well. It is definitely a color that I would use. It is perfect for fall. For me, because I am quite pale, it isn't too dark. So I wouldn't be super vampy while wearing this. Um, the formula is quite soft and creamy creamy something I really really like as well I have already applied this to my lips like right after I recorded this video I'm recording this voice over like a day after I recorded the video um, it doesn't dry out my lips at all which is a big big plus in my opinion and I just really love the color it isn't super long wearing I'd say that it won't survive completely after a meal or something but since it is really affordable you could just reapply it and like no damage done you know then there was also um, a crystal power lipstick and this lipstick is also 299 but it is transparent with a lot of glitter in there and it's actually one that reacts to your ph so like 
I, I don't know how you say that in English, but it reacts to everyone's skin differently. So you can actually see it turning pretty pink on me. Um, if you have got this one yourself, let me know down in the comments below what color you got. Is it as pink as it turned out to be on me or maybe a little darker or lighter? I'm really curious about that. And then to finish off this video with the last item, like I saved the, la the best for last, which is Be Strong. This one is the Crystal Power Nail Polish Collection. I only got one color, so I'm totally going to try and get the other five shades as well. These are supposed to be super pigmented and super opaque in just one layer. Um, since I had just on my nails like the day before with that purple i didn't feel like taking that off yet um, i had to record a ton of videos because of my four week trip to asia i don't have any time to actually record while i'm on my trip so that is why i'm pre-recording the hell out of everything <laughs> so i just don't want to skip any videos i upload three times a week on monday wednesday and friday so that's why i just applied it on a tip as you can see the first layer i I would say it definitely needs a second layer on natural nails with longer like longer tips like I have just to make it completely opaque but the formula is pretty pretty nice I'm really really into this color it's like a soft rose gold and yeah I can't wait to actually get all of the other colors and these were only or the nail polishes are only $1.99 so that is so affordable I can't wait to just go out and get the others I have to say I was in my local drugstore where they sell essence and this collection wasn't in their um, like shelves yet so it might take a little while before everything from this new fall winter update is in every single store but maybe you can even get it online you never know just look it up and you might be able to get some but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching i love you so so much i really hope you enjoyed and as usual i hope to see you in one of my next videos